Single player selected. Okay, and welcome back, friends. Welcome back to the awesome Thimbleweed Park. It is. It's already got me. I'm already gripped, Pug. I'm. I'm like deep in this. All right, we've made it to town. Let's have a little read of the sign. Thimbleweed Park. Nice name for a town. Not bad. And it's got the bullet hole in it. That's the sign that had it. It does. All right. It says Main Street. Oh, it looks a bit. It's dark, but I can down. see there's nothing in there. Willie's. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. <laughs> we repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Now, Willie was the bum that we saw before, wasn't he? <gasps> sure was. Okay, Closed. okay. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. Prestige. What does that say? Uh, realities. Rea realities or. Realities. Ride the boom. Bust. <laughs> Bust. Mm. Oh, hello. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. Uh, that's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> I can tell this guy's going to be a character. <laughs> Um. How long were you going to let that body rot in the river? Ah, well, the river is so chock full of chemicals from the old pillow factory. It's better off there than in a tub of formaldehyde. I guess you're here about our little murder Reno out by the bridge. There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. <laughs> no sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only going to get longer. <laughs> Let's find the corner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. <laughs> the coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people of Reno's? <laughs> uh, well, we don't have a gun, though. But I've got a chainsaw. Yeah, that's true. Need some gas. All right. Let's have a look here. The inscription says, Pilotronics, the brain of our city. All right. Gulp, gulp, gulp. No, a slurp, gulp, gulp, slurp, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like our pugs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was Better? good. That was, was that good? good? That was good, people. That was really refreshing. <laughs> All right, let's go into Connor's office. Howdy who! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who! <laughs> oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. All right. Everybody enjoying the dead toes staring us in the face. <laughs> oh, God, I didn't even see them. Oh. All right, tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. To who? Okay. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno, the Fingertron 3000. 
Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match a who. A match a who? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. All right. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Ooh. Okay, two pictures. All right. Same thing, I think, with the bottle, Pugman, the bottle of whiskey. Yeah. That might have the fingerprints of Willie on it. Yeah, but Willie's not the guy that's dead, though, is it? Well, if we want to see, like, if he's in a database of criminals. Okay, we'll give that a go. But I think we need to... Oh, Are you the Sheriff Arino? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 who? Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as Pisa Who's in a pot of <laughs> Plus, the Sheriff has that annoying Arino he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> That's good. I just got it that that is the same guy. I was just... I, I, I just got it too. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could, they be, could, could the been computers wrong? have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. I don't even know what this fire is. We this is the first time we've heard about it. Yeah. Alright, fascinating stuff. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> Uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, who? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. <laughs> uh, he's mistaken, I hate I'm afraid. This town. <laughs> <laughs> Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Okay, why does this book wiggle? It's I think every time stuff. you... Oh, I've got a to-do list. Find a murder weapon, which could be the bottle, I don't know. Could be. Fingerprint the... Oh, that chainsaw. <laughs> that's just... It was hiding in the bush. Fingerprint the murder weapon. la -de da Find ID for the victim. Maybe in the hotel. Okay. Get face trauma report. Take blood, blood. Take blood swab from the body. We need to find something to swab them. Okay. Find suspicious item with blood on it. Get blood tron report. Put three reports in a restaurant. All right. So we need to find a murder weapon. Insert a swab. Okay. Oh, do you want to read that? No, 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 no. You're good. We need. Okay, so he's got his ID in the hotel, and we'll take that ID with the photo of the dead body and put that in the phototron. So that's okay. that one. And a fingerprint taken from the murder weapon. But we don't have that. No, not yet. Which is impressive. I wonder why we've never heard of them before. Yada, yada. Okay, I think that's it. All right, we got a to-do list, Pugman. Now, what did you want me to do with it's this bottle? whiskey bottle. I, well, definitely not the murder weapon. Okay. Oh, well, definitely Wrong not. sized body hole. Yeah. It's an empty whiskey bottle. Definitely not the murder weapon. It doesn't fit so in the slot. So we can't, we can't test it. Got okay, it. Okay, but we have a photo. Can we use that on the? Not yet. So we need to get another photo to compare it to, and then they'll see if they match. Oh, you put it in there though. Oh, it needs another one. Ah, Poog. Well, at least done. we got rid of it. Oh, um, the key card. That might be good for a fingerprint, Pug. This is the key card? Yeah, put that okay. into the fingertron. But we're going to need that later. Oh, to get into his room. That's right. Okay, okay. It only works on the room doors in the hotel. I'm with you. 
Okay, what else do we have? Ooh. Circus flyer. None of this stuff is related. No. We need to find something we can blood swab them too. What about... Um... I can't use it until I find some chainsaw gas. Okay. Is there anything else we can click on in here? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Speck of dust. We wouldn't even see that pug. Uh, I've Ooh. got two specks of dust. Gather them up. Lots of medical books there. Okay. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. Okie dokie. He said I could talk to the, the machines. Ah! Okay, what's two plus two? Ooh. <laughs> Give it something harder. <laughs> Let's see if we can explode it with logic like Kirk would do a machine. Do it, Pug. Square root of 67. Anybody? Anybody? Nope, don't know it. <laughs> Last digits of pi? Uh oh. Pugman, you're gonna explode it. It's like my computer. <laughs> He's making it up now. He is. Describe your primary function. The primary function of the face drawn 3000 trademark is to analyze a photograph of a dead body and compare it with an official photographic ID to provide a positive identification of the victim. Watch your toes, Pug. It's going to oh, slim no. right on you. It's about to take off. Okay, where do I get a photo of a dead body? Break your unofficial law enforcement camera. Then do use camera with dead body. Um. The face drawn 3000 trademark requires official government identification that contains a photo. That'll be his like driver's victim. license in the hotel room, I bet. This computer's full of all sorts of useful information, Sir, though. Whatever. What'd you say? I, I said it's kind of like a passport. Okay. Um. Do you want to talk to this guy? Blood <laughs> this <maybe>? guy. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk to him. Talk to him, Pug. The primary function of the blood drawn 3000 trademark patent pending is to analyze a blood sample and a bloody object to ensure arrest of a suspect. How do I take a blood sample? Like swab or other absorbent material and dab some blood on it. Maybe like a cloth or something. Is he going to tell me where to get one? Yeah. Locked off. You didn't ask him the three rules of robotics. No, he would just yak on chip hats. If you really want to know, you can talk to him later. <laughs> I will. The primary function of the finger drawn 3000 trademark is to analyze a fingerprint. He's saying trademark. In the registry of known criminals and produce a report for the arrest drawn 3000 trademark. <laughs> Pen -pen He's got quite a scary voice. Where do I find a registry of no criminal good one. criminals? I'm not going to solve this whole crime for you. Oh, you damn are it. probably the kind of person that uses a hint guide. <laughs> oh, does he know me? How do I take a fingerprint? Using official government issue fingerprint tape. Place it on an object with fingerprints and the fingerprint will be transferred. Okay, okay. All right. Got all that pug. Now can I mess with this guy's toes? <laughs> Give him a tickle. Uh, I think that's it for here. Let's talk to her. Okay, she doesn't want to talk. Let's talk no. to old bones. <laughs> oh, he's got big head, old bones. 
It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred. Can we pinch it? No, I don't want to pick Fred. that up. Let's have a look at the files. It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. Oh, yes, yeah. Pug. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. Crap. Hmm. Damn. Keep your eyes peeled for some duct tape. All right, people, keep your eyes peeled for the old tapey do. Reno. <laughs> tape Reno. <laughs> Should we head upstairs? Tape, tape who? Okay, I think this is the only other door we can go in. Hello again, Donuts. Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. So it is the same guy, isn't it? Running it's the about. same guy. Oh my god, this town. Uh, That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, yeah, sir, Areno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Absolutely. Yeah, you're also the coroner. Right? You're also the coroner, right? Oh my no! <laughs> no 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 no, <laughs> Areno. Yeah, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas Arenos in a pot Areno. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. I think you're lying to me, sir. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right, uh, sorry Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Hmm. Who's this Chuck? Chuck? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Areno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run Areno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> She's not very nice, Pug. Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Yeah, she lacks a sense of humor. Um, <laughs> but before we head out, let's loot the hell out of this room. Just exactly. A bunch of files. Make sure you pick up the donuts. There's a fingerprint book here. Yes. Okay. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Nice. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. Okay, good. We still need the tape though, right? Mm, that's true. Just yes. a bunch of files. I don't think we can pinch the donuts. Crap. Hmm, standard CD issued desk, but with no drawers. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. Wanted. Shady Jane and the Sunshine Gang. Hmm. Huh. Wanted. Huh? A meteor? <laughs> the hell? Wanted. Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. That sounds like a gang you'd make. It pants. doesn't have any buttons. That's my posse. Must be for incoming calls only. Right. Oh damn, we can't use the phone. It doesn't have any buttons. <laughs> Must be for incoming calls only. Should we have a little talk to the machine? Ooh, yes, it looks and pretty then... official. Anything coming out of this can be used to arrest someone. What's the meaning of life? Oh, we, life we all want to know that. Understood backward, but it must be lived forward. So rent your ticket. Huh. 
that makes sense. I don't know if it helps me much. Still gonna have to pay taxes. <laughs> why is there something? Why is there something rather than nothing? There has to be something. Do we have free will? Does God exist? If God did not exist, it would be necessary to invent him. Motor. How can we know anything? He's just repeating other folk. Yeah, but in some ways, Chips, I am looking for the answers of life in this Arrest of Trump 3000. <laughs> All right. Describe your primary function. The Arrest Trump 3000 trademark S primary function is to take reports from the Blood Trump 3000. Trademark, the Fainter Tron 3000, Trademark, and the Face Tron 3000, Trademark, and issue an arrest warrant for the obviously guilty suspect. Alright, um. Control Alt Delete, oh, yeah, go. Nice. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Damn. It's turned off. Turn oh, on, Pug. Uh, can we turn it on? Use. We interrupt our hostile takeover Ooh. non-stop music with this important message. The feds are watching us. Make no mistake about it. The only way to protect yourself is to fight back. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't think we're welcome here, Pug. No, I don't think so. Anything in here? Spec. Spec, Pug. Oh, are these specs? Spec. I think that's it. Hmm, so where to now, do you think? I think just through town, so yeah. we can't see. Start That's talking like... to people. We don't need no machines to tell us how to do our job. Just see if you see anybody looking shady. Oh, see our pigeon brothers, they're pretty shady. <laughs> What's going on here? They're fixing their plumber's pug. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. <laughs> yeah, I'd say. Hope I'm not paying that water bill. <laughs> Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. <laughs> oh, it's like they've trademarked everything in this game. Kind of like Nintendo. I was going to pinch out of their tool bag. It's a bag full of plumber tools. I'd better leave the bag where it is. Oh, man. Okay. Guess I'll leave them to it. That might be a way to go later, though, once they fix that. Oh, uh, yep, you're right. When you're right, you're right, chip pants. Thanks, Pug. Oh. Everything's closed in this town. This town's a dump. What does that spell without the letters? This? Yes. Um, File Tron. I can't see anything. Oh, Tron. I don't know, Chip Pants. Why are you it having says, me look at stuff like after this? After 34 <laughs> years of serving the tri Thimbleweed County area, we had to close our doors. We should have listened to Chalk. Transistors are a dead end path. Tubes are the future. Thank you, our loyal customers. Well, I'm interested to find out what this. Chuck guy's all about. Mm-hmm. You know he's passed. Safety first savings. Well, we'll take a peek. It says, we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. You know what this feels like? It feels like an episode of Twilight Zone. You know? The word uh, yes. town like that. Yeah, it does. Ooh. 
Where'd you go All there, Pug? All boarded up. Not even any wilted flowers left inside. Oh, hello. Speck. Thimblecon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. Oh. Oh, another speck, you're right. What the hell am I doing with these specks? Oh! oh. Okay. I recognise that dirty sod chip pants. <laughs> He's the guy from the beginning. You were snooping around where you shouldn't have been there. Is he Pug? a ghost? I don't know. Oh, so All this right. is me now, Pug. Go ahead, chip pants, save I got, me. I gotta save you. Go and investigate. We gotta run. We're I running. I can't reach that. We'll save you, Pug. Just use your brick phone. I will. Give him an old clubber around the back of the head with it. Needs me. Pug needs me. Oh, it's his, it's his notebook. It's your notebook, Pug. Can I take it? I have a read. Did I? Definitely did I... Reyes's notebook. Tempting. But no. I won't bore myself. Okay. Fair enough. Pretty disgusting. I had to go down the dark alley, didn't I? I should have known better coming from London. Avoid the dark alleys. <laughs> what was the key for for pushing up buttons, Puckman? Will you click that for me? Okay, yeah, you just tell me when you need it. Yeah, go on. Let's have a look it's at just everything. a stack of empty boxes. It's an empty box. Oh no, I don't want to go to Main Street. The dust, uh, it's the back door the to the diner. What a pretty disgusting. Pretty disgusting. All Should right. we go in the front door or you want to take the back door? We're going to sneak up on them. It's the back door to the diner. Let's what open it. What a mess. You can just right click on it. It's want. locked. Front door it is. Anybody seen Reyes? Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? <sighs> Tell me where my agent is. What's... Okay, I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? What's up with the sheriff? What's with this town? Most of the stories? Okay, maybe we don't know. I'm a know. federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Reyes is in trouble. Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. <laughs> There's a lot of flies on those hot dogs. I don't I don't even think about it. We're not getting one. Don't screw with the feds. Tell don't us what screw you know. with the feds. Tell us what you know. Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Going into the past. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. <laughs> I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, find my joke book. That'll be you, Pugman. Me? Since, uh, would since it be you're out of commission. Yeah, and since I've had hair days like that before, <laughs> it, it should be me, really. All right, let's have a look at the to-do list. Right, ransom the bleeping clowns to bleeping do lists. Put on my clown nose. Get my bleeping joke book back. Get my clown fro looking bleeping great. Apply my bleeping awesome clown makeup. Go on stage and insult the bleeping, insult the bleep out of those idiots. P.S. My life is amazing and bleep you for being jealous. <laughs> right, this guy's a character. All right, Pug. He's only got a little balloon. It's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Well, maybe the no- Very cozy. My maid changed the sheets today. This nose is perfectly modeled after my own. It's just too big for the doll's face. I'm not ready for my fans. My hair is all frizzy, and I'm not wearing my special Ransom Clown makeup or nose. 
Where the fuck is my nose? <laughs> Can we not take that off of the doll, Pug? It says it was too big. Okay, this uh, good point. Pick up. There we go. There we go. Oh, chip pants. Yeah, Pug. Shiny trophies. Of 1977 and 1978. Rants and the clown. He's mean and he's proud of it. My circus poster featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's me, face. <laughs> <laughs> it's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan Ransom the Clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I gets paid. It's an IOU. Ransom the Clown lost $1,000 to me, Carney Joe, and I will. My housekeeper does a pretty good job of keeping this place clean. It's my lawyer's business card. Okay, I can just open it, I guess. Okay. Can we use? No time for food. I have to get on stage. Is that empty? You need to go shopping. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty empty. Now what? That's why he's miserable. Chip Pants, he's got no sandwiches and drinks in there. <laughs> What's that? Is that something? Do I look at what this the thing? hell is this? The number of trailers parked outside my door, including mine. The number of flags over the big top main opening. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Must have written it when I was on a bender. Okay. Maybe that'll be like a code later or something. Where's the? Where's your makeup? Where's all your crap? I, the, the trailer moves as I move back and forth. That's fine. That makes me feel wonky. I'm not ready for my fans. My hair is all frizzy and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup or nose. I better stick oh. my nose on. <laughs> yeah, let's let's do that. Stick your friggin' nose on. <laughs> Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. Have you ever tried? You've probably never tried those red noses from Red Nose Day chip pants. I, they, they bloody well do pinch. I have tried them before, but not for Red Nose Day. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. <laughs> Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, fifty then. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. <laughs> Toddlers start out as <laughs> It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You! Well, he may be a clown, and he may be miserable, but he seems to be doing all right for himself. He's not doing too bad. Got a house in Aspen, Pug. Well, this is jigging about, so let's have a look at it. All right, put on my clown nose, did that. Get my bleeping joke book back. Got an IOU. Yep, and I might need some money for that. Okay. It's an IOU. It's an IOU. Ransom the f It's my f lawyers. It's my f lawyer. Hmm, hmm. The number of okay. trailers parked outside my door. Can you go into the, these other people's doors? The number of flags over the big top main opening. The number of kids Just that Carney one. Joe has. Okay. We got up here. That's weird, I can't go in there. It's <gasps> this guy. Yeah, talk to him, Puckman. Hello, you. Push him over. You, you. <laughs> Guess that's how he talks to Go him. Go yourself. Should I give him a push? <laughs> give him a push. <gasps> oh, that was mine. Oh. Ransom, you idiot! Why did you push me? Oh. Hey, you owe five bucks to my swear jar. <laughs> I'll steal your clown nose again. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Ransom, you jerk. <laughs> Ransom, you jerk! <laughs> Ransom, you're a total I'll steal your clown nose again, that's what I'll do! Who's this guy? I'll steal your clown nose again, that's what I'll do! He's Ransom, not stopping that guy, I can't talk to them. Oh, I can't get crying that. too. I think my stilts are broken! I'll get you, Ransom the Clown! Can we do anything with like this? Pick his pockets. 
Hi. Baby, pick him up. You, Ransom the Clown. I think my stilts are broken. Ransom, you jerk. I can't get up. I can't. I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. Okay. Where should we go? Oh, that's where we came that's from. It's the trailers, yeah. Oh, backstage, backstage, Puck. Backstage. All right. Ooh, nice crowd tonight. I'm at the top of my game. I'm gonna give them the insults of their lives and they'll love me for it. Idiots. <laughs> I have a clown nose, but I just look like it's my Ransom the Clown swear jar with 138 bucks in it. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. <laughs> That's not a bad deal. Big bucks. Okay, it's an empty swear jar now. Cannon. It's about 35 I'm not minutes. a wannabe pirate. You'll never get me to climb into one of those. It's, um... Maybe we could do our hair here, Puck. Okay, our that's true. Our makeup. Oop, yep, makeup. It's my special custom-made clown makeup. I am tired of putting it on every night. Sure as wish there were a more permanent variety. All right, let's put it on. Beautiful. Now there's the face I love. <laughs> sort out the hair. <laughs> oh, my cloud fro <laughs> looks great now. <laughs> uh, there's a hat there. But when can I, I get a balloon? Wear hats. It's a bit of a pathetic balloon, isn't it? It's, it's not... nice. It's just right. Okay, he doesn't wear hats. I look marvelous. Ready then. So... Oh, he needs his joke book. What the hell's that? Probably not in here. I can't go on stage without my joke book. We're gonna I get the joke book. I forget my best lines without it. Alright, let's go hunt for it. Can we go in here? I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown! I need to make my big stage entrance. That tuna head joke's from um, Maniac Mansion. Oh yes, that's right. Uh, Ron Gilbert wanted to actually swear and stuff, but the LucasArts said no. So they did tuna head instead. Figured so out a way around it, that's what we gotta do. It's crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. Oh, hello. Yeah, shoot the pussycat! Excuse me? <laughs> You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? <laughs> One thousand clams or you're not getting your joke book back. It serves you right for playing the duckies. Everybody's pretty grumpy around the circus. They, are, they should be all happy. I have your bleeping money. I have your money. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my junk buck? Ah, uh, wait, did you messing with me? That's only 138 bucks in interest. With the grand you owe me. Yeah, thought you'd settle for less. Uh, beggars can't be f choosers. Oh yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full 1138 bucks. Whoa. No beggar off. Oh, damn. Win a fine leather jacket. Hmm. Lots of prizes. Can I use anything here? I was. Uh, so he talks to him some more. You got my money ransom, the ass white clown. This is what got him in trouble to begin with, Pug. He was playing the duckies. Oh really? Okay. I think so, Pug. That's what would get you in trouble too, is <laughs> it would. Running up a debt. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to win, win uh, I don't know, a teddy bear or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you f loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. <laughs> Not my problem. Uh, come on. Give me my joke book, face. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. 
plus $138 in interest. Just fight Man, him, Pug Man. Am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. You I don't know, ransom the ass white clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. Ooh. Ooh. So how's the old ball and chain? So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the five kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that scare you gave them. How many kids did you say you have? How many kids do you say you have? I have five kids. Why? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm a busy man. <laughs> I got five kids to feed. He does. Thank you, I'm out of here. Right, well, we've, got, cat. we've got a hidden safe, apparently. Go find Win it, Pug. A fine leather jacket. It's got our money. Because we're rich clown. Yeah, Ooh. he's... Oh, that was a little pigeon man. Or I, woman. I guess it's a, It's only inevitable we'll run into the same people. It's only 80 people in this town. That's true. Alright, safe. Where would you hide it? Uh, where would you hide it, peoples? Um, microwave. Well, it's open. Nothing inside. Nothing I inside. only use it for popcorn anyway. The crap they sell here will keep you in the bathroom forever. <laughs> Very cozy. My uh. maid changed the sheets today. How about under the trophies? A little cabinet under there? Can we uh, pick these up? I glued him to the table so no one can steal him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is not a bad idea, actually. <laughs> um. How about push it? How about push a trophy? Maybe they're like secret latches or something. Oh, I don't know. Hmm, maybe something to do with the microwave? Because it has buttons and. No, it was just empty. Mm. Let's have a look. Okay, I need a thousand bucks for that. Let's do this one. That's all I need to do. Yeah. Hmm. Push the mirror. Go on, push it. The mirror doesn't come off. Okay, pull it. The mirror doesn't come off. Ooh. Push bed. No time for a nap. I have to go on stage. No time for a nap. I have to go on stage. Um. He's happy where he is, aren't you, little ransom? Where else? I think push the trophies. Oh, behind the uh, the picture, maybe. Oh. Uh, let's uh, pick up. Oh, <gasps> bingo! Punk man, nice. My circus poster. Featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. Okay. It's oh, and I already know the combo. Where I keep all my money. So do with that those numbers of it has to kids and the note on the right, the Let's brown piece of paper. Let's it. see if I can remember this combination. <laughs> okay, I, get I give up. up. Well, this one. Work. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. The number of trailers parked outside my door. Including my uh, the number of flags over the big top main opening. We have to go the count. number of kids that Carney Joe okay. has. Okay, gotcha. Okay, uh, he has five kids. Five has, kids. So remember that. Three trailers. And what was the other one? Flags, flags over the big top. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, this game is good. I can't <laughs> get up. Ransom, you're a total. Ransom, you jerk. Big top. This there. thing here. Four. Four. It's four. Anything else? That's it. Okay. I'll steal your he's, he's still swearing at us. <laughs> he let him swear away. <laughs> it's already closed. It's my locked safe where I keep all my money. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Oh, we need the order. Oh, okay. Uh, I give up. The last one's five anyways. Well, that... Hmm. The number of trailers parked outside Three. my door, including yep. mine. 
The number of flags over the big Four. top main opening. Yes. The number Five. of kids that Carney Joe has. Key it in, Pug. It's my locked safe where I keep all my money. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay. Okay, now. <laughs> Sounds like me a bit. <laughs> finally. Okay, now. Top. Da. Next well time, done. I'm setting it to one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> That's a load of moolah. Oh. I better not laugh too much. People start guessing my passwords. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> I like this guy. Ransom, I, I can't stop smiling. Ransom, you jerk! I think my steels are broken. Ransom, you jerk! Oh, poor Ransom, guy. You're a he has no regrets. All right, let's go get our um. Surprise! He is too far away. Alright, um... Hey, guaranteed to hit give, something! Give, give, Oh, so you decided to pay up! Yeah, Come well, on. not much choice. Now where's my joke bug? Yeah, the jokes all suck. <laughs> so how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? These? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, clowny! You're scaring the customers. All right, so nice. Just needs to go on stage. I think we're going to leave it there for now, friends. Got to insult the bleep out of the idiots. Yeah, but we'll do that on the next video. <laughs> so then, friends, you guys have a good evening. Bye bye. Save and quit. <laughs>